Well, it's Sunday, it and, is. <laughs> and, and normally we'd be out driving around. Oh, uh, I miss those days. Yeah, we were stuck in. Yep. But um, for the most part, we've been stuck in all summer. Right. Well, since uh, yeah, since this whole thing started, this whole mm, deal this whole started. Mess. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Here we are. And, and we've been reminiscing about what we were doing <laughs> last year. We chased the big boy for the most part. Oh, oh man, I'm glad we had a chance to do it last year. That was like a once in a lifetime. Boy, I'll tell you, it was starting in, in uh, May, and we were out on the road so much, mm -hmm. and that beautiful locomotive, and we followed it all over the place. Right. And uh, we were planning to do that again this summer. That was the plan. That was the, the we plans. had a hotel. Mm -hmm. Everything, bookings, flights. Uh, yeah, we were starting in yeah, Cheyenne, right. which is... The uh, whole summer and fall was planned, but... Following the engine, and, and Ed was putting together the schedule, mm -hmm. and by the end of February... It was all... It was done. Mm -hmm. Everything canceled, everything over, none right. of that's, uh, that was mm -hmm. going to happen. Right. So, here we are working on models. Well, and that's what we've been doing. And that's what we yeah. <laughs> We've been able to keep busy. We've been keeping quite busy. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and that's good. But while we were busy, we were contacted by one of the, <laughs> sus the subscribers here on the channel, Caleb, uh, Caleb Leach. Okay. And he's built a big boy. A big boy? In 1 15th scale. Oh my. On his 3D printer. Well, there's a hobby. So we thought, well, let's, let's show you guys Caleb's <laughs> 1 15th scale big boy. Right. Check this out. <laughs> I'm still impressed when I see the big boy. Well, boy, who isn't? No <laughs> oh, kidding. People came from all over the world to see that last year, and uh, it's it's easy to see why Caleb was inspired to build a big model of it. No kidding. Normally, we'd run into a model like this at a train show. Right. But there are no train shows. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. But uh, what everybody's doing right now through social distancing is talking over the internet. So we thought we'd let Caleb explain to you his model. Hello, thanks for having me. This is a 115 scale model of the Union Pacific Speedway 4014. It is about not that long, has over 1,500 pieces, and I hand painted each piece. I have spent three years building it. In those three years, it includes designing it, printing it, putting it together, and painting it. I decided to do this because I love steam locomotive. I thought it would be really fun to challenge myself to design some and print it, because I've never done anything like this before. I use Rhino and SketchUp to design it. And Kira just lost the files, which creates a G code, and that goes to the three printers. I won first place in Tennessee Valley Fair with this last year. I'm going to donate it to the Shine Depot Museum in Shine, Wyoming. Everything was 3D printed. Here's the whistle. Design these little two plates. This is me standing in the cab. I had a friend 3D scan me, I 3D printed myself. It's not feel long. Here's one of my three printers I used to print it, Crowdy CR10 version 2. There's another printer I used, a Crowdy Ender 3, I used two of these. Well, as Caleb mentioned, he won first place at the Tennessee Valley Fair. Well, that's awesome. Isn't that cool? Uh, here he is with his model there at the fair. Uh, he's lucky that he was able to get to show this because it was not long after this that train shows and fairs and everything all started to be shut down and canceled because of the, the situation. Right. 
But what an impressive model. Look at this thing. I and love, it's, oh, it's huge. I love it. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, all the details. I forget what he said. 3,000 pieces. Oh, and this is him. He had a friend of his scan himself, and he placed himself in the cab. Well, there you go. <laughs> These are a couple of the printers that he used. These are Creality Ender Model 3s. Well, that's a different name. <laughs> <laughs> or at least uh, several of them are. It takes so long to print pieces that he found that he needed a second printer and then a third and then a fourth. I think there's six printers in this picture. Oh, my. Because it might take two days for it to print a single part. So his solution on building something this big was buy more printers. Well, that makes sense. It makes a lot. Of, and, and they've gotten so affordable, this printer that he's using is right around $200. Oh, my. So that's not too bad. No. Now, the software he's using is SketchUp and Rhino. Okay. And uh, these softwares build a polygon mesh. And I've used, you know, 3D software for years and years and years. I design old model railroads that way. Right. But they won't talk directly to a printer. The, the, the mesh, the polygon mesh, has to be converted into a file that can talk to the printer. And uh, that requires a little bit of finagling. I would imagine. <laughs> yeah, I did it once. I printed a figure, and that'll be an upcoming show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, uh, and it's getting easier because there's so many people doing it now that uh, there's all kinds of new software packages and products being developed. So it's getting cheaper and easier all the time. Now, even though in these pictures the model is completely assembled, of course, as you're building the 3D files, each piece has to be built separately because it's going to be printed separately and then the model assembled. Oh. And in this case, painted and lettered and detailed further on top of the 3D printing. But as, as Caleb mentioned, it's taken him three years to do this. Three years. Three years. And I think a lot of that time was just spent here at the computer building all of these thousands of parts that are going to assemble into a locomotive. You know, where this is virtual modeling, when you get right down to it, it isn't that much different than scratch building. The, the digital tools are very, very much like the real machine tools that you would use in a real world. It's just that it's all happening inside of a computer. But the final product, there it is. Wow, I, I'm just a blown away. <laughs> wow. Well, I, I hope we're going to get to see this, but as he said, he's going to donate it to the museum in Cheyenne. Well, neat. And, uh, you know, just making those arrangements because everything's closed right now. Right. But uh, we're planning to go to Depot, D Depot Days next year. Right. Let's uh, hope so. <laughs> first part of June. Uh, assuming that everything resolves itself over the next few months, uh, we will make it and hopefully that means we'll get a chance to see this model. I can't wait. And possibly even meet Caleb. That'd be all right. Wow. <laughs> it's a distance from, from Tennessee, but uh, if he's going to bring the model up there, I, you know, I don't know when he's planning to do any of that. You know, we're so familiar with the real engine, having watched it get put together. Exactly. Inside and out. <laughs> inside and out. We've been inside the boiler. <laughs> But this is it. This is this is the engine. This is pretty darn close to perfect. Well, hopefully also next year, the big boy will be running a full schedule again. Wouldn't that be nice? I so want to get out on a train chase like this. Oh, it's so much fun. It's, uh, we're going a little stir crazy. Yes, just a but, bit. But this will be fun. And uh, in theory, everything's going to be resolved by, by next year. And starting with depot days, the locomotive will start on a full schedule again. Yes. And everybody will get a chance to see it operating again.
Well, that's that's a heck of a model. Isn't that cool? And he's donating it to Cheyenne. And as, as soon as we're going again, mm -hmm. uh, our plans are to pick up right where we left off by going to Cheyenne for depot days and seeing the museum there. Right. And by then, maybe this model will be in the museum there. We'll visit the model. And we'll Let's hope see so. the model. <laughs> And back to the big boy and chasing the big boy because it will be running again just oh, yeah. as soon as we can get this whole uh, this whole situation behind us. Oh, let's hope soon. Jeez, let's hope. Yeah. You know, they're saying maybe by Christmas, but mm. then they've been saying a lot of things. Exactly. So we'll we'll do what we do as we do it, won't we? There we go. At, uh, in the meantime, this was really neat to uh, <laughs> to meet Caleb and yeah. see his model. That's awesome. And learn a little something about 3D printing and, and modeling that. in that way. <laughs> that was really, really cool. It's a lot of fun. Well, if you haven't been over to the channel, pop over to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Uh, the way to do that is to click the blue button. Are we ready? <laughs> Zoink! <laughs> That's the blue button. Right there. Uh, well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here in one week. Probably still here in the garage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see you then. Bye-bye.